it means a lot because I, I definitely believe in uh, being a well-rounded person. Football is what I do, it's not who I am. And so I think it's very important to be uh, well-rounded. And it's about how you use football to impact other people rather than like what, what you can just do. From a personal standpoint, um, I come in to work every single day to be the best I could possibly be. I'm somebody who definitely stays on top of the details and then how I impact my teammates. I'm not someone who's yelling all the time or whatever. I, I definitely set an example. I'm somebody who does things by example, but I also talk to my teammates individually. And you know, if I see someone down, you know, I try to keep them up. If I see someone doing well and I let them know, just to encourage them. Well, I'm a social work major, and so I've done a lot of community service for that. I mean, it's required, but I've also done a lot of community service outside of that. I've uh, been involved with this place called Healing Place, which is a homeless shelter, but they also help people who struggle with addiction, and they help them get back on their feet. So I've done that, helped serve food. I was a keynote speaker. I got to go to Kenya with a few of my teammates, and that was like a really cool experience. I guess giving back is really important because like, not everybody gets the same opportunity that you get and everybody doesn't have the same opportunities that you have. So just, just being able to, I guess, help people out in that aspect is, is very important. Uh, what drives me, I, I would say the people around me. I have a great group of friends. And then also my, my family, I think it, it was, I guess instilled in me that, you know, you need to help other people. It's not, it's not about you. You know, I'm the oldest, oldest of five in my family. And so, I mean, I've always just had a, I guess, a big heart to help people. My stepdad, which, I mean, I hate calling my stepdad, he's my dad. So I got basically two dads. I got my biological dad, I got my stepdad, and they're both, you know, been really big role models. My stepdad showed me like what it means to love someone because obviously I'm not his blood, but he's never treated me any different. And I think that is a big reason why it's so easy for me to like treat people like they related to me just because I've seen it firsthand, you know, what unconditional love looks like. And then my biological dad's always been there. Obviously my mom, um, she's helped me out so much. And all, all the coaches that I've had, I mean, it, the list goes on and on. I think I would choose maturity. When you're mature, I think you understand all the other words that you're talking about, and how important they are to like implement in your life. I would say it's just to grow and to learn at, from every situation and never just to feel like you're above anything or anyone because you can always learn from them. Age doesn't constitute maturity, so just because, say, you're 40, it really doesn't mean that you're gonna be mature. Yeah, you might have gone through a bunch of different situations in your life, but that doesn't mean that you've learned from them. It would mean a lot. It would just mean that I am doing what I've always wanted to do, which is to be a well-rounded person and just understanding that football is what I do. It's not who I am, and it's a platform that I've used to be able to help other people.